Where does Kevin Lee fit into this current UFC welterweight division? I, I think you're going to see that after, after Saturday. He ain't lying. They say never to kick a man when he's down, but have you seen pride? I'd argue that some of the best kicks that happened were against a down fighter. I knew that when the UFC held their charity event to bring Keith Lee's brother back to the UFC that it wasn't going to end well. If you've seen my popular Kevin Lee's imaginary potential video, then you already know what I think about the prelim phenom. For those who haven't, I will quickly summarize it by saying that I acknowledge he was a legit top 10 155er who was greatly overhyped as a future champion with not as much potential as many believed. I never fault a fighter for being cocky. Hell, I get a kick out of it. Or for believing in themselves. You have to believe in yourself, but it's when that belief turns into delusion that I can't stand. Or when puppet fans regurgitate false narratives because they can't think for themselves. I still see it to this day, but I'll ask again. What potential did Kevin Lee have over so many other young fighters in the UFC? Despite landing one good head kick against a wrestler in Gregor Gillespie, where has Kevin Lee ever shown elite striking? You saw in this recent fight that he has zero head movement. How's his cardio? Or his chin? Does he have punching power? How about his submission defense? He's athletic, strong, has good takedowns, and top control. How many other young fighters can you name that have more pros than cons versus Kevin Lee? Quite a bit, but many of them just don't talk themselves up as much. Which unfortunately tricks many fans into believing their nonsense. Now to be fair, he has been plagued with many injuries over the last couple years and has been inactive due to those injuries, while also recovering from the beating my first video gave him. But at the same time, he was never this Khabib destroyer that many believed. And I don't care too much about the fans. I... I appreciate everybody that supports me. Don't get me wrong. Let me be clear. I appreciate everybody that support me and show me love. I honestly don't care too much about the intention no more. You know, I, I had that. I, I seen what it was like. I don't really care too much about it. It's, it's the, the fans are, are, I'm not even going to say the fans. I'm just going to say people in general are very, it's, it's, it's a messed up world that we kind of live in. You know, if, if I'm sitting up here and I got, 10 million followers, you, you listen to my words a little different than if I got 100. Um, to me, that don't make... It, it, I am a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck, you know that? Did you notice how he wanted to bash the fans who constantly give him shit for overhyping himself? Which, by the way, I'd like to congratulate y'all for doing. Kevin still refuses to acknowledge the real problem. Fans don't take anything you say differently based on how many followers you have or whatever that nonsense was he was trying to sell. Fans give Kevin Lee shit for never backing up what he says. This is fighting, and if you're going to be a trash talker, then you better win. He hasn't fought anybody at this level. I'm right there with, with the best of the world. I'm 2-2 two and two in my last four. You talk about Kobe Covington. He's 2-2 two and two in his last four. He's fighting for the title. You see, it's stuff like this why fans give Kevin Lee crap. You can't just point out your recent record and compare it to a top guy who has a similar recent record like you're on their level, conveniently ignoring who you've lost to versus who they've lost to. Say what you want about Colby's title shot, but he's only lost to Usman in recent years. One of Kevin's losses was against an unranked guy in D-Rod, while one of his wins was against a zombified Diego Sanchez. Being 2-2 two and two alone does not mean Lee's on the same level as Colby. Just like Kevin is not on a different level than Renat. It's not like we expect Lee to say, yeah, I suck, I'm not that good. But at the same time, don't claim you're this next level phenom you're trying to portray. Going back to him fighting D-Rod. I have to address this based on the couple comments I saw that claimed D-Rod was an elite welterweight because he was 16-2, and two, as if level of competition doesn't matter. I knew what I was looking at with D-Rod, and as recent events have shown, I was correct. You can't judge a fighter based on their padded record. You have to actually watch them fight and see how they do and who it's against. D-Rod was never an elite UFC welterweight. It doesn't mean he sucks, but there are levels. He was 100% supposed to be a rebound fight for the top five Kevin Lee. I, I can be a superstar anywhere I go, in any industry. Yet another example of Lee making a false claim. First off, he's not even a superstar for what he's known for. Don't get it twisted. He's well known amongst the MMA fan base, but that has never translated into superstardom. The fact is, there are actually very few superstars in MMA. You don't have to take my word for it. The pay-per-view buys are out there. Sometimes MMA fans are so inside the bubble that they don't realize how little some fighters are actually known by the masses. 
for your return to the organization, is there any part of you that wishes that this fight was like in a sold out arena or does it not matter to you? Yeah, I, I wish it was uh, in front of more fans. You know, I don't know how many people are going to be at Apex, but it's kind of stupid. I don't know what we're doing. Stupid, like getting paid exclusively in Bitcoin for his Eagle FC fights. Stupid, like claiming Connor was trying to be like him instead of the other way around. Fuck Connor, I ain't trying to be like none of that. He, if anything, he's trying to be like me. Or stupid, like him claiming that GSP didn't think he could beat Kevin. They know that George ain't going to take a fight that he don't think he can win. And I think we all kind of know George don't think he can beat me. <laughs> the fans really haven't seen me since I fought Charles Oliveira, and, and they're going to see a different version of me in, in this fight. A, a bigger, stronger, more mature, faster version. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to show that. I, I've been in the dark for these, these three years, so now I get to come to the light. I've seen some fans whining about the UFC matching Kevin up with Renat. It's the UFC, and they matched him up against an unranked fighter whose true potential was not yet known. Just because Renat worked Kevin Lee like a part-time job in just 55 seconds does not mean the matchmaking was terrible. Then again, his fans have proven not to be the sharpest tools in the shed. It's not like Lee was ever going to have a realistic run again, especially at 170. Hell, even 155 is more stacked now than it was when Lee was relevant. So what are these fans really upset about? When you think of garbage, think of Kevin Lee. Listen, I'm not here to shit on those who believed in the potential of Keith Lee's brother. I know plenty of legit MMA fans who bought into that. I also know a small fraction of people who think Shab is a good comedian, or that Godfather 3 is the best in the series. R.I.P. Kevin Lee. Rest in prelims. For the rest of you that enjoy my longer documentary style videos, don't worry, I got one of those on the way. Make sure to hit that bell when you subscribe so you don't miss this shit.